So here's part two to my epic narrative, King California and his quest to save the sun. When King California reached the shore, he was confronted by a mysterious stone soldier who immediately drew his sword in defense. The humble king spoke to the soldier. Please let me free you from this fate you've been given. I'd like to see you in the warmth of your skin. I'm just a king on a quest to the center of the universe. So don't pay me. You were quite a confident king Let's see how you fly when I crush your wings I am Agladesh Hear me Silent and intricate power. Time stood still. Then King California altered the past through a series of complex thought patterns known only by men of his brilliance. And the soldier was released from his solid stone casket. Moving with gratitude, Agulhas dropped his sword and kissed the king's feet. Agaladesh had been trapped as guardian of the sun for some time now and had never imagined that he could have been liberated from his eternal shell. But now he knew that he had seen the light. Even in the darkness without the sun, he knew that his sign had come to help the humble king. There he stood to bring the light to the world and every boy and girl in that beautiful silver city so far away. Sleeps day by day. So Agladesh led King California to the golden arches that lead to the center of the sun. On the way there, he revealed that the last person to visit the sun had been a giant spider. Luckily, Agladesh was in his stone form, and the spider was unable to suck his blood, as even giant spiders do. walked across the completely smooth surface of the sun, covered in shards of broken sunlight, until they reached a black hole that seemed as if it might be the very center of the universe. And then with one glance at his trusty soldier, King California jumped into the black hole.